I know. I want to show you guys the little bathroom here. It's super cool well, as far as bathrooms go. So you go into here. And it's just right, the yurt's right there. Go in here. And then. Ah, there's a bee. There's a bee. Okay, the bees out. Bees out. This is the bathroom, obviously just like a little outhousey thing. But it's a vermiculture humane or humanitarian <laughs> What a weird word. I don't know how to read the word. Human humaneer. Uh anyway, so there's worms in the toilet down there. And they eat the poop. And it's their it's like the most sustainable way for waste to be consumed. So it's like there's not as much like garbage waste because this place is super sustainable. So that's cool, I just want to show you that. We're on the water, we woke up, hung out, and now we're fishing in a canoe on the Columbia River near... Oh, Columbia River. What did I say? Oops. Columbia River, near Invermere. The Columbia River goes to the Invermere Lake. Yeah. Windermere. Yeah. Wind. <laughs> I don't know where we are. We're catching no fish though. Wow, sick angle. Okay, I need to put bug spray on, but I don't know how to put my like camera anywhere. I have a question for people. The people that use. <coughs> People that use natural products, like what do you use for bug spray? And I know there's like citronella bullshit, but like it doesn't work. So like what do you do against when you're being bombarded with mosquitoes like I am right now? I will never not use off. So I just want to know, like what are you using instead of it? Because uh, whatever is in off, probably poisonous to people too. But it's worth it, man, because mosquitoes are literally the worst. We're out fishing in a different spot now. Because he's way down there. I can't even see him. Because there's no fish in the other place. So here we are. Catching no fish, though. Just in the meantime, I'm gonna make lunches.
way too hot to drink. Leaving, going back down. I just want to shout out to this uh, cooler I bought at Canadian Tire for $100. And it didn't really keep anything cold. However, look at these wheels. Very durable. It made it up this pathway. Now it's going to make it back down. Who knew? Hello. <laughs> Sorry for the no makeup. Um, I'm just editing this video right now and I realized that we never did like a summary of the yurt experience. It was a very like jumpy video because I'm not very good at YouTube videos. Apologies. Um, but I wanted to just quickly come on here before I publish this and despite the beginning of the yurt experience, um, we are definitely going to go back and we are definitely going to stay in the yurt that we were in even though it was a 2.3k hike up. Um, with all of our stuff, we, <laughs> I have been demoted from packing for camping and we will bring lighter stuff, not as much food and use our Yeti cooler in the car to keep stuff and just bring up what we need um, each day because we still went to our car every day because we went out and went fishing and stuff. So I um, highly recommend, I don't recommend staying in the one up the mountain if you have a lot of stuff or you have kids or you don't feel like hiking 2.3k every time you go up or down because it takes about 30 minutes so you need to like really put that into your day but we really liked it we loved being secluded up there it was beautiful the view was beautiful um some of the yurts don't have that view that's obviously why you it's worth going up there um but the whole year was super interesting to stay in it's i guess it'd be like glamping if that's a thing um because the the, the like yurt's already there you don't have to bring your tent you'd have to bring the bedding um and everything and everything else you need for camping but they have the firewood they have toilet paper a bathroom and the yurt so um yeah we really liked it highly recommend top tips are pack light food dehydrated if possible um have a cooler that's like a backpack or some sort of smaller cooler that you can put into your backpack because dragging the cooler on wheels was a pain in the ass thank god the wheels didn't break because i don't know what we would have done chris would have just left it to die because he was not happy with dragging that up um and then having to carry the bucket up like i was in charge of carrying the tupperware bucket and my biceps were shot for days like it was so hard to carry that up it was a great workout it definitely is worth like then you don't feel bad about drinking beer and eating s'mores and stuff because you work out every time you have to go up there and carrying all that stuff up but that's our biggest tip, but then we would recommend it. It is more, you have to want to stay there. I don't know if that makes sense. When we go camping, we're very much like, okay, we're just gonna sleep and then we're gonna go out and do this, this, and this. Where this one, you have to enjoy your time there because um, it is a little bit slower because of how far it is up the mountain. But we really liked it. It's really peaceful, it was really relaxing, and um, yeah, we would do it again. So I just wanted to throw that in there. If you have any questions about the experience, um, just message me and I'll let you know.